Um, this is a video response to refuting the Noahide laws. Hello, my name is Joanna, and um, I'll be refuting you today. First of all, I want to say that I am not a halakhic authority. Um, I do mess up, and uh, my friends all know this. And if I should mess up in this video, I would like to say that um, if any of the people I respect and admire would like to refute me, please do. And um, I'm already sorry for whatever I say that's wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay, on your first point, that the laws are not in the Torah. That's true.
Today, even those who do not think of themselves as idol worshippers can still serve idols and not even know it. Irina Piccinini is a philosophy student at Jerusalem's Hebrew University and she is a follower of the Seven Universal Laws. My rationality was unable to understand how one can be three and how three can be one. So at one point, I said, okay, one is one, uh, one is one, so this one God, <laughs> the only God is Jewish God. So many people are coming to this because they said, well, all my life I've been bothered about dividing the oneness of God in, in a trinity and so forth, or in, in the deity, and it's so liberating to know that I, I don't have to be a part of that system, but Nainoah gives an opportunity for a person to be something other than a Christian Jew or Muslim. I don't belong to anything. I'm completely free. Religion interferes with my faith. There is only one God. If you put your faith in people, your possessions, your money, you're in for a sore disappointment because in the end, money will not help you, neither will the people on whom you have pegged your hopes and dreams. Not one of your heroes or heroines can rescue you. The only one that can save you is God. Call on him and he will answer you. Trust in no one, in nothing else. <laughs>